Hey guys, what's good? It's your man Harrison here. Just before the video starts, I'm sure you guys know a serious crime was committed against me the other day, roughly about two weeks ago. The reason I'm just sharing this with you guys is because I want to let you guys know that it's not about material things. Yes, I understand that the car was stolen. It was a very nice car and all of that, but it was just material. I was more so happy with the fact that my family wasn't hurt. It could have gone a lot worse. They could have broken into the house and then looked for the keys and then done some serious harm to the family. And it, it might not even be physical. It could just be mental as well and then they could have left with a car and that would have been a lot worse i'm just grateful to god that the family is well you know and that's my key thing here yes well, the car insurance is going to pay out for the car and you can get another one back and everything else but i'm not bound by material things and that's how i really want you guys to be as well yes you know you could be annoyed about this but you know you can only be annoyed for so long you know i'm just grateful that the family is good the family's still together and we are at peace anyway liquidity gang let's crack on with the video all right guys so here's my play on your usd right now so first of all I want to quickly show you what's happened with EURUSD. So what do we have here to the left? We have an up close candle here. The price has traded up into this up close candle over here. And now we're getting that turnaround. And ideally, if you can get beneath this low, I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to get down to this level here, this area of inefficiency. So you can see this kind of six week high and that one's low. They do not touch each other. They don't come into contact with each other. And so there's inefficiency here. So only buy side was offered. Price would need to come back down to offer sell side to the market. Bearing that in mind now, now we're at a point of, or an area of interest where I expect some kind of turnaround. I want to see whether we can turn around here. And so right now, what else do we see here? We also see relative equal lows, or this is like this is like perfect equal lows actually. Prices already started moving, but if I was you and you've not been in any kind of sales up until now, it's not about stressing out and all of that. So what I'm actually looking at is this. So you guys know, you saw where we were in price, and this is what I'm looking at now. So NFP just come out, we've dropped to the downside. Don't forget those relative equal lows, roughly about 1.0800. And so that's gonna be my target. That's where the, the money is, that's where that sell side liquidity is. Now it's all about trying to get an entry. What's happened so far? So we're in the New York session right now. Price is going sideways, but we've just taken out the buy stops above this high. And now we've taken out the buy stops above that high. So this drop and trading through of this low made this an institutional candle. I'm looking to catch an entry at this institutional candle. How you can play is this. There's the very lowest point, there's the open, and there's 50%. So you can see where my 50% line is. I've got my stop loss just beneath 50% because if it does stop me out, I will jump in again because I'm trying to catch the better R trade. I could just easily do this with a 13 pip stop loss, but the return isn't gonna be great. I know I want to fall is blessed for some of you guys, but I'm used to more than that. This would be a one to 10 R trade if this gets tagged in. And just so you guys know, I've entered, I'm going to be entering near about the lowest point, literally the lowest point of this up close candle here. So I'm just waiting for price to do its thing. If it does drop back beneath this low, then I would look about another kind of setup. But this is my current setup right now. This should be a juicy one to 10 R trade holding it down to that level. And that will be the level I hold it down to. And just to show you something else actually real quick, just to get down to the equal lows is a one to 10 R trade. This is where I will take partials. I will take partials when we get back beneath this low over here. And not only that, check it out. If I want to hold it down to the imbalance, then this trade becomes a one to 26 R trade or one to 27 R trade. If I don't take off anything from the trade, but I will do. That's why the risk to reward ratio isn't relevant because I will be taking partials at this low and then leave the restaurant to get down to here. And just because you've seen a massive drop, a big old drop over here, doesn't mean it's gonna start turning around. I used to be of the mindset that after a big massive drop, price has to turn around. No, it doesn't. It will normally just drop, then it might accumulate, and then it might drop again. Just a bit of an accumulation going sideways, we then take out the buy side liquidity, and then we drop again. So that's what I'm looking at. My son's playing with his little car toy thing. I'm looking at one, Mikhail, okay. Stop it! I'm looking. Stop! Stop it! Stop it! Stop! I'm looking to trade USD to 10800. So my original entry was missed, as you guys can see. He's doing. My son's doing this on purpose. So I'm looking to scalp this right now. I'm gonna go ahead and move this to where I want to enter from. It might just happen real quick, actually, and I've got to put it in my MT4 too. Oh snap! Snap me! Damn, damn! This is, that's gonna happen quick. I just wanna make sure that I am in and put at least set a sell limit. So I'm roughly about 50% of that imbalance there. So that's roughly about, uh, da -da 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 -da, around 32. Okay, I'll put my sell limit in. So I'll go ahead and done that. We are Gucci there. And I'm gonna put a stop loss at 37, there we go. So look at that, guys, just so you guys can see it for yourself. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in here too. So roughly about here, roughly about 50%. But I did mine at 32, so let's go for 32. Sell limit, 
stop loss risk in 1%, uh, 32, and we're going to go to 37 for our stop loss, which is above that high. Let's see if we can get that. There we go. And our stop loss is roughly going to be about this high, so 38, 38. Let's go ahead and change that to 38. Let's go ahead and cancel that because the risk ain't going to be correct. Let's do that again. So roughly about 32. Create new sell limit at 32. Stop loss at 38. We're going to risk 1% and we're going to do 38. Six bit stop loss. Let's go. There we go. We've got it all plugged in now. So this is how we're looking. And then for the scalping course, folks, this imbalance here. So this is just showing you guys that price did muck around at my entry for a little bit. I did suffer just a tiny bit of drawdown, but eventually moved into profit. And now I'm gonna put an arrow on the chart, showing you guys the low that if price beats that, I'm gonna be super confident in the trade. This is just a few minutes later. All I'm showing you guys here is that price has not got into our targets yet. So you guys know we want the relative equal lows and we want that daily imbalance. And so you can see we are still far away from that. So I'm gonna be holding throughout the weekend. Here is that trade that I took on, I believe it was Friday. You can see I've still got my runner going. We consolidated to the right for a little bit, as you guys can see. Now we start making a move lower and we're about to hit our TP target, guys. Like I said, it was a beautiful move. This was the one I missed. This would have been juicy. That would have been a juicy move, roughly about 150 pips, but it is what it is. It's all good. This was the move that I caught. I took off the bulk for the trade here, and then I'm looking to take off the rest down here. And yes, you're going to be thinking, oh, but this was just a you know short move just to get down to here. It was just 30 pips that price moved, but this is where I took off the bulk and we went into the weekend. If you're not swing trading, you don't really want to be holding over the weekend. But this is why I took partials here, so I wouldn't be too bothered about what happens with the rest of the trade. You can see where we are now. Price has dropped significantly and we're about to hit TP. Guys, we are close to taking TP. It should just hit. We're in the imbalance already. There we go. Boom. And that's the trade done. Hey guys, so just showing you guys my executions now. So you can see it's already on, but I'm going to take it off. You can see we come off here. It's off now. I'm going to put it back on and hit OK. So you can see this is where I entered, like you guys saw. This was the trade that I missed. And so this was the next best entry I saw up here. I took partials right here at those equal lows. You can't really see it, but equal lows, equal lows. I took partials right here at those equal lows. And then I took the rest off when we got down to that daily imbalance right here. 